We're just a little under two weeks away from my next CPV event. Competitive crown hand here in the Duncan Donuts Center here in Providence, Rhode Island. I am your host and get back to enjoy two solid hours of this edition of Friday Night Smackdown. But we're gonna kick things off with a two-on-one handicap match. On the way to the ring from Brazil, Corey King Jones. Kofi Kingston makes his way to the ring. It was two weeks ago, right here on SmackDown. That Kofi's opponent here tonight, the team of Sheik Abdul Bashir and Eric Young, took out CM Punk. And tonight, it looks like Kofi Kingston is looking for a little bit of retribution. Well, ever since Eric Young turns his back on the fans, on his friends, he has become a completely and totally different man, even to the point he has lined himself with Sheik Abdul Bashir, formerly known as the Vari, and they have been tearing up as of late, man. See now, Eric Young and Abdul Bashir can continue their momentum. Hyping the debut of Sheik Abdul Bashir. Talking about fear, putting fear within the Cold Fan Nation. This is not what we thought about. Well, Sheik Abdul Bashir has been impressive since coming to SmackDown. Let's see if we continue with here tonight. Alright, here we go. And Kofi Kingston is going to look to get off quick and in a hurry here as he is at the disadvantage in this handicap match same thing that happened to Sam Punk two weeks ago meanwhile the strategy of Young and Bashir is to keep Kingston limited with his offense as we're just two weeks away from this Sunday from our next CPV event and the code is continuing to get stacked. As I've been telling you all week that the traditional Survivor Series match will be taking place. It could be up to five or six of those. Just the participants have yet to be selected. Currency of the board of directors because Hulk Hogan is still yet to be released out of the hospital. After being attacked by Sting and Booker T. And speaking of the main event mafia, we're gonna find some clarity in that because Kevin Nash came out last week and said there was a the distinction between the members of the main event mafia. That turned out not to be the case. Because Nash, Angle, and Samoa Joe were all on the same page. We just take a look at the cover as the teamwork of Bashir and Young well, is working here. At least for the moment. And the double team looks like it's looking to be too much for Kingston. And 10 white counts. And he scores the pin forward just like that. World Elite emerged victorious here. Now let's take a look at the replay. It was just a little too much 2 on 1 action going on in this handicap match. And down goes. Kofi Kingston opening contest just like that of Blue and I. And it's not, they're not done. They're not done. They could be looking to put away Kofi the same way they put away CM Punk. Let's take a look here. Eric Young slides in a chair, and Kofi's in trouble. Double suplex. And if they do this to Kofi, right off the what they did to the first overall pick in the draft, 
No one is safe. And Kofi, reversal, body press. Not that time, into a double DDT reversal. And Kofi, if I was Kofi, I would just slide right out of the ring here. Another double suplex. And Eric Young, taunting the crowd here in the Dunkin' Donut Center. And a back body drop by Eric Young. I'm supposed to say he's the leader of this so-called group known as World Elite. And you're probably going to have to expect more members in the weeks to come. It's going to be added to this group. And here we go again. Another double suplex. And I think the objective here... Wait a minute! CM Punk's music! He's back! The number one pick in the draft is back here on SmackDown! And I think this is the last thing Eric Young and Sheik are do what she expected. CM Punk coming to the aid of Kofi Kingston. What a way to kick off SmackDown! And they didn't even stay in the ring. They bolted right through the crowd and CM Punk made his way to the ring. And now Kingston. Wait a minute. CM Punk. What is he doing? CM Punk has turned on Kofi. My goodness. Just when you thought. You had all the answers. The questions have been changed. Why is CM Punk doing this to Kofi Kingston? First it was Eric Young. Now it's CM Punk. Can Kofi trust anyone here? On the SmackDown roster. Right hand by Kofi. Not phasing CM Punk, he comes back with a suplex. That table is still in the middle of the ring. And down goes Kofi. What a way to open up this edition of SmackDown. And CM Punk. Why has he turned his back on Kofi? No general manager to perhaps keep people in line here. Everybody's going out of whack. And it's a DDT straight through the table. And CM Punk. How could you? Take a look again at the replay. Look as if Kofi and CM Punk were embracing each other. But then CM Punk with a right hand. Take a look right here. You felt the heart of this DDT. Right through the middle of the table. But CM Punk has turned his back on Kofi Kingston. Well, yo, main event just announced. Brock Lesnar will go one on one with Kevin Nash. In addition to that, coming up next though, triple threat match. Matt Hardy, fresh off his win against Rob Van Dam. And the triple threat against Scott Steiner. Come on back. On the next edition of ECW, last week the Big Red Machine came, took it to Raven in that Strange Rules match, but did he do enough to declare himself the number one contender to the ECW Championship? And how would a Big Show respond? Find this all out on the next edition of ECW. Check your local listings for availability in your area. We continue with this edition of Friday Night the Threat Match. On the way to the ring from Bay City, Michigan, weighing 275 pounds, Big Purple Pump, Scott Steiner. Well, the last time we saw Scott Steiner, 
He was in a match with the blueprint Matt Morgan. Unsuccessful. Let's see if he can get back on track here. I guess a couple of guys will have nothing more than to climb that ladder. And earn a shot at the United States Championship. It's just to be decided if that title will be defended at the Survivor Series. And in the event, all three superstars competing in this matchup will um, look to impress not only general manager Hulk Hogan, but the board of directors. And speaking of a man who needs to get back on track, Mr. Friday Night definitely needs to do just that. He's going into this triple threat match, facing the two men he recently just lost to. And if you take a look at the list of matches Rob Van Dam has had in the past 30 days, he lost to Scott Steiner in the number one contenders match and last week to Matt Hardy. And speed of Matt Hardy, let's see if he can continue his winning ways here. He's set to make his way to the ring. Well, Matt Hardy hasn't exactly been in the good graces of the main event mafia since coming over from ECW. But after last week's win, I'm a Rob Van Dam. He's looking to prove his winning ways here tonight. Remember, here we go. First man to a pinfall on submission won't be victorious. And this triple threat match, perhaps, is going to to the United States title currently held by the blueprint Matt Morgan if you're just tuning into this edition of Friday Night Smackdown main event was announced before we go to the commercial Brock Lesnar will get his hands on main event mafia member Big Sexy Kevin Nash after being hit with the verdict last week in that tag team matchup Kevin Nash is looking for the retribution. Some of you will say he got that. That's a pump handle slam by Steiner. Getting back to what I was saying. As you see Rob Van Dam on the offensive, but Scott Steiner has other ideas in mind. And at one point, would one of these superstars will isolate the other to tend to the third man in this contest. Well, getting back to what I was saying, Kevin Nash. Got some of a retribution with assists from Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. When we were all full, thinking that there was friction going on within the main event mafia. Maybe there is, because that addressed Kevin Nash. And we know Scott Steiner and Booker T are on board. But Kevin Nash basically says Sting is not on board. And we just gonna have to find that out. Perhaps sometime tonight, and as you see Rob Van Dam, once in no time with Scott Steiner here, well, Matt Hardy, perhaps looking to pick up the pieces and steal one here, triple threat match, here on SmackDown, and also if you're just tuning in, as you see Rob Van Dam is clear, both Steiner and Matt Hardy out of the middle of the ring, Spent too much time taunting and for his services got a short range clothesline from behind. But getting back to our little stand for those that's just tuning in, CM Punk, of all people, turned on Kofi Kingston at the conclusion of his handicap match against World Elite, the team of Eric Young and Sheikha Adu Bashir talking about CM Punk turning on Kofi Kingston as the Kingston lost that handicap match. Just moments ago, Matt Hardy rolls off Steiner, broken up immediately by RVD. 
and the importance of becoming the number one contender to the U.S. title, especially for Ron Van Dam, who won the title, back at the Great American Bash while making AJ Styles. Better than back suplex, reverse, double face crusher by Hardy and OVD. Hardy now ropes up Steiner. And you know the history backtrack for Steiner going after this US title. Well, it was at, it was at Unforgiven when Scott Steiner got involved in the United States title match between Morgan and Styles and took out Morgan. And back and forth between these three superstars. Bella La Belly suplex. And once again, the isolation of the third man is going to be the key for somebody to get another offense, perhaps take out the second man in this triple threat match. Steiner, broken up immediately again. Where before Tim White can put the hand down for one, and Matt Hardy comes back with a clothesline. And he felt those chops to the chest by Steiner. We're just two weeks away from this Sunday Survivor Series, Verizon, Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. As you saw Rob Van Dam delivering a domino stretch, not before he gets knocked down for his troubles. Van Dam now, no. Right hand, rocked. And a little fill out process going in on that. And Matt Hardy puts down Steiner. Probably was too close to the road. If you take a look again, Matt Hardy hitting the side effect. Shoved out of the corner, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. Here we go. Twist the fake to a big pop and pump. Well, back up he goes. Up to a vertical base. Take a look again at the replay. He should have just went for the cover. And I don't know if Scott Steiner would have stayed now anyway, the way he popped back up out of nowhere. I think that was just more instinct than anything. Getting back to the match. And Rob Van Dam needs to focus on Matt Hardy. He's the hot one right now in this match. Big right hand into the corner. Rob Van Dam, he's up top. Gets knocked off by Matt Hardy. He was going for the five-star frog splash. And Matt Hardy was aware exactly what Rob Van Dam was trying to do. And he definitely needed to do that. Rolls him up. Too close to the ropes. They lock up here. Into a domino stretch, Matt Hardy looking to wear out the neck and back area of Rob Van Dam. Brian Lemonham flying throughout the air with his five star frog splash. Rob Van Dam, here we go. And Scott Steiner is down. Matt Hardy feeling the ill effects of that monkey flip. Gets sent into the corner. Isolation. That's exactly what he needs. Rob Van Dam. Here we go. Once again. Into the men's section. But back up goes Matt Hardy. All the action we have in here tonight. Dunkin Donut Center. Providence, Rhode Island. Of course, next week. All three shows. All three brands. Raw SmackDown and ECW as Matt Hardy going for the cover. And Raw VD breaks up immediately. Next week we'll be coming to you from the pond. From the UK. Shetfield, England. Next week, all three shows. As the Rolls of Viruses continue and Scott Steiner with a elbow directly to break up the count. He gets two. Matt Hardy going for the 
pin it to a pricker. Gets caught with her own pricker. And now Scott Steiner, not before RVD, comes in and breaks up the momentum of Big Papa Pump. Turning Carolina into a series of right hands by Matt Hardy. And there's Ron Van Dam putting Matt Hardy down face first on the canvas. Ron Van Dam. Perhaps we get in a two on one situation. And Ron Van Dam now has everyone where he needs to be where he did. Looks like that's not gonna happen. Rob Van Dam now. Snaps to flat. Matt Hardy comes back. Series of punches. And Rob Van Dam with those lethal kicks. And down goes. Matt Hardy. Caught up in the ropes. Scott Steiner now. Here we go. Nice. Jumping drop kick out of the Irish whip. Rob Van Dam, five star. No, broken up by Big Papa Pump. And a discus punch by Matt Hardy, slowing down the momentum of Steiner. Little double team action by the two men from the state of Michigan. That's the only thing they have in common in terms of this matchup or themselves. RVD sends Steiner into the corner. Matt Hardy, flying wheel kick, no. Scoop slam by Steiner. Fouls up with an elbow. Matt Hardy comes back with an elbow. Steiner going for the cover. Matt Hardy's not having any of that. And another elbow, and from behind, Matt Hardy with a close line. Right. And this triple threat match. This may be the unofficial number one contenders match, but to these three superstars here, they're going to show you exactly why they should be the next number one contender to the U.S. title. And Steiner, filling that off the Irish whip. Sleeper, down goes Matt Hart. Right hand, Scott Steiner. Into the corner he goes. Steiner. Back body drop by Big Papa Pump. But well, Matt Hardy's right there to bring up the penitent. And Matt Hardy might steal it. Tim White won. And a one count only. Too much time was taken there. Broken up Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. He's looking to steal the win. No. Kick to the midsection. Steiner, belly to belly suplex. Steiner continues with an elbow. And Rob Van Dam is really the one that needs to pick up a win. He's lost the most of these men in one-on-one -on -one contests in the past month. Steiner from behind. Steiner recliner. Is it over? No, man, Hoy broke it up. Matt Hardy now trying to seize the opportunity. Off Rob Van Dam being put in a Steiner recliner. Matt Hardy. One. And now One. Matt Hardy, which has been called too close to the ropes. And Hardy now has got Steiner, plants him down. And now Matt Hardy is looking to take advantage of the situation. Rob Van Dam. He spent too much time on the top turn But well, he's back up, but he's now positioned in the corner. And over the top he goes right hand by Steiner. And Steiner now is flexing his muscles before a compassionate crowd here in the Duck and Donut Center. They made their way to the outside. And this could be very dangerous. If he the superstar gets caught in the wrong position, here on the outside, Scott Steiner has him up. Steiner screwdriver on Matt Hardy. 
And he was in the ring. This match could have easily been over. And Ron Van Dam. Trying to go for a penny temp on the outside. Cannot get it there. There's another pinfall count anywhere, Matt. OBD. Again. Just a Steiner napping, but a two kick to the midsection. This one caught my Hardy. But he's too close to the ropes. And Steiner now. Flexing his muscles again. Gets caught with a kick to the back of the head. Leaving him, Matt Hardy, toe to toe. Hardy, Irish whip. Off the ropes. And RVD. Not before we're working up here. A little double teamwork into a suplex. And Steiner. Let's see if he has another Steiner screw up. No, but he has a bit of the back suplex for one Matt Hardy. And Steiner. In trouble. Matt Hardy's going up top. Allowed Rob Van Dam to see where he was going, which is the reason why Matt Hardy was unsuccessful coming off the top turnbuckle. Black Scott Steiner in the middle of the ring. Matt Hardy. Broken up. OVD locks in the FTS. And Matt Hardy taps out. And Ron Van Dam picks up a much needed win. Well, let's take a look at the replay. A lot of action that took place. Steiner recliner in the matchup. But Matt Hardy broke it up. This is the turn of the match, I believe, because Scott Steiner could have easily won the match. Matt Hardy off the top turnbuckle falls off. He was in the sequence right here. The thing ended up the way they did. Lane. Scott Steiner here. And after breaking up the pinfall attempt, Rob Van Dam breaks up. Brings up the attempt right there into the STF. Well, Rob Van Dam victorious. Still to come. Brock Lesnar gets his hands on Kevin Nash in one-on-one -on -one action. So coming up next, your World Heavyweight Champion in action. Come on, guys. And now, the Raw Rebound, brought to you by our Bloodspot page. Check us out at Bloodspot.com. edition of SmackDown with the World Heavyweight Champion. On the way to the ring from Malaysia, Boyota, Joe. Watch you do it, see 
As you hear those booms, come out of the Dogen Donut Center here in Providence. This is the champion's first appearance in action since winning the title from Brock Lesnar. But we don't know who he's, who he's facing, so we're getting ready to find out right now. Oh my! Oh my! Detroit, Michigan, weighing 285 pounds, Rhino! It's the War Machine! The Man Beast! On the way for the War Heavyweight Champion! In this first match, they're joining the Men of the Mafia! The Take on Rhino! Alright, here we go! World Heavyweight Champion, the newest member of the Main Event Mafia, competing here on SmackDown, who is yet to address the Co-Fed Nation as ordered by the Board of Directors. And you gotta wonder, what do they think about the fact that Samoa Joe did not comply with their request? And Tim White, they gotta wonder, is he the only referee available here tonight? This is his third straight match. Short range clothesline. Well, fellow main event mafia stable mate, big sexy Kevin Nash, will look to take out Brock Lesnar in our main event here tonight. Meanwhile, Samoa Joe, I don't think he's gonna play around with the war machine. It doesn't matter if we're talking about the man piece here. If anybody can match Samoa Joe, it's wow, certainly wow. Rhino. But at what capacity? Samoa Joe is the champion for a reason, whether you like it or not. As you heard the fans here in Providence, boo the World Heavyweight Champion. And I gotta wonder, what does Sting really think about the World Heavyweight Champion? Now part of the group, Kevin Nash basically said would well, go against guys like Joe and AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar. Having no respect for the business. The guy that plays the trail. Series of right hands by Joe. And a clothesline from behind. Back up to the vertical base with Rhino. But back down he goes, courtesy of Joe. Of course, Samoa Joe has a date with Chris Jericho at the Survivor Series. Has it locked in? Keona Clutch locked it? No. It'll take more than that to take out Rhino. Mona has it locked in? Cross for it's over. And the World Heavyweight Champion make the Man Beast tap out just like that. Coming out the Kiona Clutch just a few seconds earlier. And Samoa Joe. And breaking news coming up next. Team 3D teams on with Booker T. And they will face LEX. And get this. The Icon Sting. And that match is coming up right now. No commercial break. One of the straps. As Booker T makes his way to the ring. On the way to the ring from Houston, Texas, weighing 256 pounds, Booker T. Two members of the main event mafia are going to get it on in a six-man tag right now. And this match was made by the board of directors. They got win of the fact that there's dissension. Sting, supposedly along with Kevin Andrew against Joe, being part of the Mafia. We're going to find out how true this is right now. Get on SmackDown. Brother Ray, Brother D, 
Debo and Hefe is pushing. He's turning the smack down. With Hamathon and Superman Fernandez. You get another shot to put their hands on the Latin American exchange. Here in this six man tag. And pop two. The Cruiserweight Champion, Hamstar, and Hernandez. And we thought that once upon a time there was precision between these two as well. But Hamstar got himself disqualified. As you see, the icon makes his way to the ring, but this truly distinction within the main event mafia. It was Booker T and Sting. Those two are the reason why General Manager Hollywood Hulk Hogan is not in here on SmackDown to combat all this craziness that's been going on in the past couple of weeks. So Sting is not on board with Joe being in the main event mafia. What was the purpose of taking out the general manager of SmackDown? We know Kurt Angle and Sting have not had a shot to not be seen out of the yard. But we're going to find out in this six man tag right now. Here we go. The first man Let's go to pin for on submission. They get the team, their team, the victory. And Sting is throwing it off with Brother d -Bone. But there's Brother Ray with a series of right here. And for the first time tonight, we have an official whose name is not Tim White. And Mike Kyoto. An impromptu matchup, not even a commercial break. Because that matchup with Samoa Joe and Reno was too quick. He ran wanted to save his arm from being broken because of the fact that Joe has basically snapped into another orbit. He was shot by Sting onto Brother Ray. He ain't going to a team. But his way out of his predicament against the Cruiserweight champion of the world. Which I'm going to know when he's going to defend that title again. Just getting bored against Team 3D and not defending that title on one time, not even at a house show. So getting back to the action. Sting has Brother Ray in the corner. Ray fights his way out. On the outside is Devon and Supermax. A lot of action going on here. Six match with Nino matchup. We get the final of this true distinction. But then I made him in my head because Booker T and Sting have been isolated with other people. The minute these two get it on, we'll know for sure there was a huge problem in the main event mafia. Mm -hmm. Rocky will find that out. And that's his wounds. D1 rolls back into the ring. And you're just tuning in. There's already been a wild edition of SmackDown. Booker T and Sting on opposite sides. That's correct. If you're just tuning in, they're on opposite sides of the ring. And then six man tornado tag team match. And Brother Ray gets a one count only on the other count. And we've also seen CM Punk turn his back on Kofi Kingston. Just like Eric Young did. The former War Elite. And down goes Brother Devo. And over the top. The Sting to send Brother Ray, not before he got knocked down. Huge shot to the chest. Good shot from behind. And Sting now is caught up in the ropes. One, two, 
two, broken up. And over the top goes the icon stick. One. One. And there's action all over the place here right now. Sting with a big right hand to Brother Ray. Back in the ring. Little teamwork going on with D1 and Booker T. And Booker T now. Giving the fire to a signal. Rope break. And Sting. Going for the Scorpion death lock. Locks in. And they still want a battle here. Working on the back. Oh, Brother Ray. It looks like we're not, perhaps not going to find out. And the Booker T and Sting have a party on each other. And we go to Samoa Joe. Diva. And Sting. With the Scorpion Death Drop. And again, he's coming back with the Scorpion Leg Lock. It's locked in. And Brother Ray taps out. And the Sting. And Elias. Just the win! Let's take a look again at some of these highlights. Scorpion Death Drop. Then locks it in. Scorpion Lag Lock. Well, coming up next, the number one contender. For Jericho. Goes against the best. Right here on SmackDown. Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho! The number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship on his way to the ring. He will get his opportunity two weeks from this Sunday at the Survivor Series. I think it's Dak is stacked against Chris Jericho on like it was at the Great American Band. Samoa Joe now, a member of the main event mafia. We'll find out. What can he do here? He's taking on the monster of this right now. What a going opportunity for the Monster Abyss if he can score a pinfall here against Chris Jericho. That will certainly elevate him into a possible title matchup. So he has to get the job done here first. Here on SmackDown. Alright, here we go. Jericho Abyss. Samoa Joe, you know, is watching backstage. Keeping his eye on the number one contender. As we went off the air last week, I basically stated that it would be a good idea and perhaps a, in the best interest of Chris Jericho if he perhaps did not get involved. As Brock Lesnar was being gained up on him, and the mere fact of this, that Samoa Joe would have gotten hurt. Doing that three on one ambush in favor of Chris Jericho. Because he has the injury to work on at the next CPV event. Jericho is very smart. He knows what it's going to take to take the World Heavyweight title, especially against a man he's already wrestled before. A near mere, you might as well say, 
Four months ago. Almost. At the Great American Bash. And on the outside here, Chris Jericho sends Abyss into the barricade. But I don't think that faces Abyss not one bit. If somehow Abyss can catch Chris Jericho in the Black Hole Slam. Or the Doomsday Device. It's all she wrote for the number one contender. And a big poop by the monster. And for the first time here tonight, we get Nick Patrick refereeing a match. I wonder what match he's refereeing at Survivor Series. Chris Jericho takes down Abyss. Still to come here tonight, Brock Lesnar looking for payback from last week. He's going against the big sexy Kevin Nash. On a night where we saw CM Punk turn on Kofi Kingston. On a night we saw Booker T and Sting on opposite sides just moments ago in a huge six-man tornado tag. And we still don't know if Sting is with or against the main event mafia for having Joe be a part of the group. Back to the action. Hangman like Joe. Puts down Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho is going to have to definitely bring his A game if he wants any chance of taking away the title. Away. Not only from Joe, but from the entire main event mafia camp. Just want to take a time out and remind you for all the latest news, stories, and everything that's. Dirty Call Fair related. Go to Dirty Call Fair at blogspot.com as you see a low blow by the number one contender and he's chuking and jiving, not before Abyss decks him with a right hand. And Abyss looking to seize the opportunity here in the early going of this one on one matchup. Drop kick to the knee, that failed. Cruz Jericho catches him with a chop. Off the ropes now. Jericho, he's getting ready to springboard right through the middle rope. And Browns might have taken a breath or two out of the monster, but that should not keep down Abyss. And there's another low blow for his troubles. But he pops back up to a vertical base. And now putting a boost on the Chris Jericho. And he's too close to the ropes. And Nick Patrick, he can call that at the blink of an eye. But he can't get a 1 2 3 without moving like molasses. Chris Jericho spending too much taunting here in the Dunkin' Donut Center. Wolves of Jericho locked in in the middle of the ring. But he lets up. And I don't know why he did that. It's all about building momentum into his title opportunity at the Survivor Series. Board of Directors have been extremely busy as of late, especially on the SmackDown brand. Bouncing back and forth, form shot, no. Right hand doesn't connect either for Abyss, but he got that toe kick in. Not before he gets planted on his back, and Abyss now. A hard kick into the midsection. Gets now back up to the vertical base. He's too close to the ropes and Nick Patrick calls it. Back body drop by the monster. Too close over to the ropes yet again. And an uh, inverted atomic drop and Chris Jericho Looking to scrum on the brains of the monster abyss. Catches them off the ropes. Chris Jericho now. Has him. Puts him down. One. One count only. Take a look again. Chris Jericho high risk. Shades of his Y2J days. And Jericho now. I think he threw playing around here. Abyss. 
is planet. And I hope Samoa Joe is taking notes. This could be in his future. Missile dropkick and it connects. And Chris Jericho could be all but through here with Abyss. Jericho. Standing drop kick from behind. Again, he picks up Abyss to a vertical base. Plant it back down. And now he's going for the cover. One. Two. Two. And that's a long two count at that. And Abyss. Swing at the end is near. Catches Chris Jericho. Locks in that bear hug. And it's tight. And Chris Jericho has no... And he taps! He taps! And Abyss! Take a look again at the replay. Chris Jericho locks in the wall to Jericho. And right here... The middle post, but that wasn't enough. And the bench catches Chris Jericho in the middle of the ring. But well, that was more game plan by Jericho to tap out save his energy for the Survivor Series. We'll find out soon enough. So coming up next, AJ Styles takes on Jamie Storm. They tag team partners in their corner. How would this shake out? Find out next. And still to come, your main event, Brock Lesnar, look for retribution. He tried to get it against Big Sexy, here on SmackDown. On the next edition of Monday Night Raw, at the last week's Triple Threat match, it's the number one contendership and serious jeopardy, as the current number one contender is having his issues from an online consumer, okay, John Cena. Get Rey Mysterio back on track. Or does Mr. Kennedy have a claim to the number one contendership? As the road to Survivor Series is on a two weeks away, we'll cross the pond on the next edition of Monday Night Raw. Check your local listings for availability in your area. The Unified Tag Team Champions on their way to the ring for singles competition. Well, in two weeks, Bill Money Incorporated will have their biggest test today. Defending the Unified Tag Team titles against the team of AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. But right now, James Storm has his eyes set on AJ Styles. Introducing the opponent from the big state of Georgia, AJ Styles. Well, what hasn't he done here in the Cold Fan Nation? Every title you can think of, he's helped it. Just a bounce. And he's never held the Unified Tag Team title. The man he's teaming up with at the next CPV event told me earlier today it would be an honor and a privilege if he can win those titles in two weeks. Mr. Money in the Pink, the fallen angel Christopher Daniels. With everything that's going on right now with the World Heavyweight title, this man at any point, at any time between now and WrestleMania can cash it in. Here we go. And AJ Styles was wasting no time. He was looking to go for a maneuver right there off the ropes. It was introduced to the Fallen Angel. And so much that's been happening here tonight. Here on SmackDown. We still got the main event. Brock Lesnar going one on one with Big Sexy Kevin Nash. And makes you wonder why it's not Kurt Angle getting into the ring tonight. Kevin Nash didn't ask for that tag team match last week. He basically wanted some answers. Didn't get any answers. 
more like it was a swerve as last week was Halloween Eve doesn't matter right now AJ Styles in the early goings of this one-on-one -on -one matchup is in trouble with the Tennessee Cowboy James Storm and James Storm is looking for a huge win against AJ Styles I don't know if he can get it here. And an elbow drop. Styles! High risk! And out of nowhere, AJ Styles has got himself right back in the thick of things. Flying body press off the ring ropes. And you can expect that in two weeks. When the Unified Tag Team titles are on the line. If you haven't ordered Survivor Series, contact your local internet provider and let them know you want to see the Cold Fed Nation's presentation on Survivor Series. And AJ Styles now. Snap Suplex. And if he has his way like this with Storm, on the CPV, we're gonna have new unified tag team champions. Styles off the ropes into a power driver. And AJ is not letting up. And Styles now. Not letting them not one bit. As he should not. On a night we saw Kofi Kingston get turned on yet again. This time by the number one overall pick of the draft. CM Punk. DDT Kofi Kingston in the middle of the table. As you see Storm was too close to the ropes. Also we saw Abyss. Then Chris Jericho submit due to a bear hug in the middle of the ring. I think that was just Chris Jericho not wanting to be in the match. I wouldn't read into that. The stack is still... The stack is still decked against him coming up at Survivor Series. Crushing on a knee by AJ. Not before a takedown by Storm. Has Styles in an unusual predicament. But that's not going to stop AJ going all in here and hit some directly with the spinal tap spiral tap excuse me off the ropes just looking to take down storm right there no AJ turning Karana into a series of right hands by the former world heavyweight champion former US champion former cruiserweight champion Styles sends Storm into the corner. Face first in the top turnbuckle. Compassionate crowd here in Providence. Let's enjoy this edition of SmackDown. Of course, next week we're going to be across the pond. All three brands will be over there. As the fans in the UK get to see the superstars. On the call fan. That's the most of Survivor Series continues. AJ going up top. High risk. Flying body press. One, Mike Kyoto. Two. two. And a two count only. And for the most part, this has been all AJ. Storm now. One. One. Two. Two. No. And perhaps for a second, Storm could have stole this matchup. And Storm now gets caught with that high risk maneuver. Going for the Styles Clash. He's got him. One. One. And he kicks out at one. And AJ, what more does he have to do here? 
drops the Tennessee Cowboy on the back of the head. Snap suplex one more time. And Styles was out of position that time. Kick to the midsection. And Storm comes back. That bridge pin attempt. Gets a one count only. Storm again gets dropped on the back of the head. AJ Styles again. The spiral tap. Has Storm on to a vertical base. And AJ, for the most part, is having his way. And again, he's going for the Styles Clash. But he's too close to the ropes. He's caught up in the ropes now. AJ, nice drop kick out the Irish whip. Push off the Styles Clash. Three. And he had to put it to bed that time. Because he pretty much was having his way. With the Tennessee Cowboy. Let's take a look again at the replay. Flying body press off the top turnbuckle. Then the first of two style clashes. It was right here. The beautiful truck kick. Off the Irish whip. It was Styles and Daniels got this. That Survivor Series we will have. New. You look on tag team champions. What is next? Rock Lesnar looking for a retribution against Big Sex. Next. Smackdown, your feature contest starts right now. On the way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 305 pounds, Kevin Pitt. At the conclusion of the tag team match that took place last week on Smackdown, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle, and this man. Put Brock Lesnar through a table. Three on one assault. Tonight, that's one by the board of directors, Big Sexy Kevin Nash. Let's go toe to toe with Brock Lesnar. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. And this man right here, you know, he wants another shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. He will have to wait though until after the Survivor Series to get that opportunity. But right now, he's focused on hitting payback, and it starts with Nash. All right, here we go. Your main event for this week's edition of SmackDown. Don't forget, all next week, we will be coming to you from the UK. As Raw SmackDown and ACW trails on as the Raw Survivor Series continues through England. All next week, Brock Lesnar hooks up with Nash and puts him down. With huge authority, and the crowd erupts here in the Dunkin' Donuts set. And a shoulder breaker for Kevin Nash. Huge chop across the chest. And one makes you think that General Manager Hollywood Hulk Hogan will be in no capacity to be with us in England next week. He hasn't been here since being put through a table currency of Sting and Booker T. But there's friction going on between the Main Event Mafia and the Icon. And 
Kevin Nash right now looking to get back into this match here in the early goings of it Kevin Nash is looking to ground and limit the power game of Brock Lesnar the question is can he do just that sidewalk slam and Kevin Nash Grand Slam champion and a huge tackle by Brock Lesnar just as when you thought Kevin Nash had limit what Brock Lesnar was going to be able to do just for a little while Brock Lesnar comes back with a tackle just like that and Lesnar now he's feeling it into a counter into a back body drop by Nash and Nash now single leg Boston Crab onto the former world heavyweight champion and Lesnar has him in the corner sends a shoulder thrust into the midsection of Big Sexy Nash not done yet Falls up with a leg drop. We've seen all members of the main event mafia in some form of capacity, except for Kurt Angle. And Nash hits that. Wait a minute. Who is this? That's the world's. That's the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And he's at the last nerve. How much money did Kurt Angle pay him? The world's strongest slam. And wait! That's the general manager! That's Hulk Hogan! He's back! No music intro, no Titan Tron! And he's tagging! Fellow! Or should I say former NWO member! Kevin Nash! And he's hooking up while last night is tossed out! Mark Henry! He's telling Nash, you... Whoa! Series on right hand. You know what's coming next. Big boot. And the huge leg drop. Uncle Man is running wild in Providence. The big atomic drop. Should I say leg drop, excuse me. So take a look again at the replay. And thank you for coming, Big Sexy Kevin Nash! The verdict! One! One! Two! Two! Kick out at two! That has to be number instant! Hulk Hogan is back! And made it clear, here we go again! Down he goes! What is doing? One, two, three, and that's all three, she wrote. Four, Brock Lesnar. What an assist from General Manager Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Now take a look at the replay. Mark Henry shows up and delivers the world's strongest slam. Hogan comes out and the rest is history. How P.O. is Kevin Nash. And then in the end, the first of two, Brock Lesnar puts down Big Sexy Kevin Nash. What a way to end SmackDown. Wait a minute. We're not done yet. Here comes Kurt Angle. The opponent from Exeter, Pennsylvania, weighing 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. You knew this would not stand with the guard for the Man Event Mafia. He had to see Hulk Hogan come out here. Deliver the big boot. And a huge leg drop. Lesnar is now waiting for Angle to come into the ring. Huge spear. Thank you for coming, Kurt Angle. A little retribution. Has him up. 
Power bombs him here on the concrete on the outside. And this has to be a resolution between these two. Or should I say between Brock Lesnar and the main event Mafia? And Brock Lesnar now. Puts him down. And Kurt Angle though. Not done yet. Building a back suplex. And Lesnar stares down Angle. And again. What a backbreaker. Hulk Hogan took out Kevin Nash and disappeared. Not that Brock Lesnar needs any help taking out Kurt Angle. So we know the general manager is back. But in what capacity? What kind of shapes he, he's in after going through a table? And Kurt Angle again. Belly to belly suplexes. Kurt Angle sizing on Brock Lesnar. And they're just sizing each other up. And Angle's not done yet. And a shoulder breaker by the godfather of the main event mafia. You gotta believe one of those five or six traditional Survivor Series matches is gonna have to involve these two some type of way. And a takedown by Brock Lesnar. And Angle. Agitating Brock Lesnar. Taunting. And this history runs deep between these two. And another takedown. Brock Lesnar. Again for the third time. Here on the concrete on the outside. And again. Kurt Angle. And another one. He picks him up. Tosses him. And that broken neck of his. Kurt Angle could be in some serious trouble. Well, Lesnar could be on the verge of ending the career of oh, Kurt Angle. No! Spoke too soon. Brock Lesnar. Just looking at Kurt Angle. Know he can have his way with him here. What's he going to do now? Shoulder breaker. And this is what happens when you get yourself involved in other people's business, Kurt. That world title rematch almost a month ago should have just been Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar one on one. But no, you had to make a deal. And we still don't know what terms of the deal that took place. All we know is a, he's a member of the main event mafia now, Samoa Joe. But what did Joe have to give up? Down goes Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar in trouble right now takes him down Kurt Angle he has the ankle lock is locked in and he's not letting up Brock Lesnar in trouble somebody anybody we out of time we out of time we'll see you this Monday night